Unastahili kuabudiwa, unastahili Yesu, unastahili kuabudiwa, unastahili Yesu, unastahili kuabudiwa, unastahili Yesu, unastahili kuabudiwa, unastahili Sijaona kama wewe mwenye nguvu namna hii 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 Praise Jesus, how are you doing today? That was my ministerial friend, Anaitwa Philip. I thank the Lord for bringing him into my life. What na minister nae at KU Chapel in Kenyatta University main campus. So I bless the Lord for this chance to see you. I know unashanga na kuona JS, I can see you spiritually. And I thank the Lord for everything he's continuing to do and what he's going to continue to do. So today we are going to talk about Today we are going to focus on illnesses and sicknesses. Why did I choose to start with this? It is because this week I've been, <laughs> this is so close to my heart, because first of all, the blood of Jesus Christ, before Jesus transformed me with his blood, I had a problem with my leg. Ilikuwa na, it's called what, arthritis. They call it arthritis. So, nilikuwa nimefura. Singe weza kutembea comfortably. But when Jesus came in, when the blood of Jesus Christ came in, and when the Holy Spirit took over, came and lived in me and rested upon me. See, just living in, rested upon. So, I am a living testimony. And this week I've been focusing, these past weeks, I've been focusing on uh, hospital ministry. So, please, let's pay attention. Now, the root cause. So as to identify how to counterattack something that is counterattacking you, you have to find out how it came about. Sawa, sawa. So, number one, because of personal sin or parental or generational sin. Yes. Now, for example, in the book of John, chapter 5. John, chapter 5. Now, regarding Mambona, personal sin. Now, there was this guy in the Bible. Let me just open. Our mighty and glorious Father, thank you for your living word, which is very alive, active, and sharper than any double-edged sword. Please open our minds, open our hearts, open our ears to receive from you and to understand you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Now, John chapter 5, plus, ah, verse, I'm sorry, verse 3. Now, there was this man who was, had been ill for 38 years. Now Jesus saw him lying there and he knew that the man had been ill for such a long time. So Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? Now the sick man answered, sir, I have no one here to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am trying to get in, somebody else gets there first. So Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat 
and walk. Immediately the man got well, he picked up his mat and started walking. Now, this is where my point is. Afterwards, Jesus, now verse 14, Jesus found him in the temple and said, listen, listen, you are well now, so stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. What was this guy doing? Alianza umbea. No, no. Where is my pen? <laughs> Alianza umbea. Personal sin. What you talk about is very important. What you listen to, what you listen to is very important. What you see is very important. Whatever you see can lead you to sin. For example, when you are in the same and then you look at, for example, a lady, a kid dance, maybe suggestively, you have already sinned. Because afterwards you start like dreaming about this person, maybe it will happen in your case. Sawa sawa. Or maybe there are those people who watch pornography or something like that. Personal sin. Sawa sawa. So, unakuta, through your eye socket, through your ears, through your mind, unakuta, you have that space whereby the devil is able to penetrate. Naweze kukurushia whatever it is. That is another thing. I will get deeper into that. So personal and parental sin. Now, another one, negligence. For example, I am a mother, so I have a child. Wanafa kuenda clinic. As much as I'm a believer in Jesus, kuna protocols, literally. I cannot vuka his protocols because at the same time God recreated us all. So everything that is on earth is ordained na ikona odayake. So for example, wo sembo peleki mtoto to sembe a clinic. Hutaki kumpeleka chanjo because of what? Kuna the blood of Jesus or kuna like mambo na Yesu yuko. That is negligence. Unakuta mtoto wako at some point. Juli mvukisha maybe polio. Unakuta mtoto anapata mashida, anapindika like mugui sijui kwa aje, mikono sijui kwa aje. That is negligence. Sawa sawa. Aya. We are still at the root causes. Root causes of nini, of, of, of illnesses. Another thing. So that God's glory may be Amplified. Now, you may find kuna Christians, they're in hospitals. Nona kuta, these people are very, for example, kama Tabitha, when he was ill, except that this Tabitha alikufa. But for example, he used to be, she used to be generous. She used to do her best for the sake of ministry, but still she got ill and she died, but God later alikuja kam, ah, Yesu alikuja kam, fufua. So you might find there are some cases the Lord wants to glorify himself. Because aliangalia kona, that is the only way, the best way to come through you. And especially in kwanga connected to your purpose. Sawa sawa, most of the time connected to your purpose. And I hope you are writing, kwa sababu, Usiseme haukuambiwa. This is very important. Now, tuko kwa roots bado. Aya, another thing. Unguarded city. Or unguarded. Unguarded. What does this, that, uh, I'm sorry, does this mean? Now, the Bible says, a man that doesn't have a watch over his spirit is like a city without walls. Now, how are you supposed to guard your spirit? By prayer, by fasting, by reading the word, fellowshipping with God. Unakuta we kazi yako unamka, yani we maisha yako tu iko baseless, wewe hakuna kitu na support, wewe uji mambo na kuna watu wengine wanakuanga backed up na spiritual forces, woko hapo tu, unguarded. Sawa. Another thing, ina jo kuna wengine watashtuka. Kama hapa camera persons, kuna wengine hapa na shanga, hey, kama itakuwa ina wa effect. Aya. Being well fed. Wewe uneza kula asubui breakfast, sa nne unakunywa chai, 
lunch time ndio hiyo wewe unaenda kukula kwanza unakula mzito sana saa kumi haikuvuki ndio hiyo tena six inaweza kuwa sasa ndio unakunywa ama unakula appetizer ndio sasa umalize na sapa this is what the lord says na isikuwa ati ni mimi ndio nilisema ama i i just came up with it isaiah isaiah chapter 10 verse 16 now this is what the lord says sawa the lord almighty is going to send disease to punish those who are now well fed in their bodies there will be a fire that burns and burns so unajua yesu alisema nini man shall not live on bread alone and remember every word that the lord says every word that jesus says it must fulfill his its purpose so alisema man shall not live on bread alone in chakula but need 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 ni lazma it is fundamental need every word of the lord now this bible is very alive very active very sharp na unajua hii bible watu wanafikiria anga tu ni kitabu tu this is not just a book that's why i had to pray first before i read sababu naweza soma na u go blank hauelewi kenye ninaongelea sawa sawa this book is ve- we do not play hata venye you carry you carry your bible mimi hata mtu akiniangushia bible hii ni kama umenidunga na kitu ni kama umenidunga na shindano this is very important sawa sawa and why let me just tell you something why is the bible dependable unaweza kuta you are just tuning in and probably you are a muslim or indian or hindu or something else so unashanga why is the bible dependable before tuendelee na mambo na root causes so the bible aside from the history zile za imeandikwa na different authors and they their stories collaborate now you find that the bible has stories and characters that relate to our current life god says this he makes the same things happen over and over again so whatever is happening now ilishatendeka kitambo it's nothing new so you will find there is a story that relates to you for example me let me give my example jona the lord called me akaniambia juliana go to ku i am calling you go to ku there is something i want you to do there choose either you be an apostle or an evangelist i had settled for an evangelist kumbe mungu alitaka nikuwe apostle sawa sawa by god's grace that is by his grace now jona nilikata kukuja kufanya kazi yake now what happened at that time nilikuwa nime give birth to my child but sasa sikuwa nime ile kuokoka ile kabisa kabisa kuna ile kuokoka ya kucheza now that is dangerous the lord says this yule ambaye ko lukewarm nitamtema but uzuri the lord is full of grace so akanikona nikakataa kuenda akasababisha jinsi ambavyo jona alimezwa na samaki mimi na mtoto wangu tulipitia mashida 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 na mateso sawa sawa because i refused to come to where he had called me to now aside from the story of jona and i'm here now by god's grace na venye nilifika huku everything has been a okay now the other story you might find your story relates to different characters it needs wisdom ndio maana tunafaa kuomba na kumtafuta Mungu ili aweze kutu revealia these things sawa sawa the other story that relates to me it is joseph You will find Joseph alikuwa prisoner. Yes, my story some of it nilikuwa prisoner spiritually and also sometime physically. So at some point venye Yesu a uh, Mungu aliinua Joseph alimvalisha the king now. Okay, let me let me just clarify this. In the book of Genesis, the king 
we refer the king as to God. Yani when you translate, translate the Bible, when you relate it to the current time. So when the king alinua Joseph after interpreting the dreams, na kaiza kufanya other things that people were not able to do. So akavalishwa linen robe. Na kafanya kwe a ruler. No one would lay a hand or a foot or foot without his permission. Now, linen. He material ni linen. Sawa sawa. Ndo iyo hapo. That's why most of the time, actually all the time, you will find me with, kama si hinguo ya white, you will find me with linen. Sawa sawa. Linen. This is my story. Ruler. By God's grace, amenipatia your star of leadership. Hand or a foot. So long as you are a God's child, we uko na mamlaka na uwezo, whatever ume umefungisha duniani kimefungishwa mbinguni sawa sawa now that is for example you will find characters that relate to you now the other thing with the bible the good thing about the bible is the lord himself gives you encounters to prove na ini after umemtafuta you have to be serious with him encounters of his existence Na atakuja, sometimes, mara ya kwanza ili ya kuprepare, for me, alikuja akatumana kwanza. Ni kue prepared mind-wise. Ndiyo after waza akakuja, kanitokelezea, kaniambia, you are supposed to go to KU. Nikakata kuenda, kaniambia, sasa, I am disappointed in you. And I am really sorry, sorry, my Lord. Here I am, I say yes to you. Oh, my dear God, I say yes, yes a billionth time. I have answered to your call. Now, disappointed. So he will give you encounters to prove his existence. For example, we were in church in Akesha. Siki tambo sana. And I will not mention the name of the church for obvious reasons. Now, tulikuwa tunaomba, tunaomba, tunaomba. So we had kulikuwa na mvua mvua inaendelea kunyesha mvua inaendelea kunyesha so when the time hiyo saya kesha kuisha we thought aya tutatoka nje aje and yet kumenyesha hivyo plus kulikuwa na baridi mingi so we waited until 5 am we had gone uh, for kesha at 9 pm ikafika 5 am sasa after tumelala ilisha 3 am tukalala 5 am tukamka tukasema sasa liwe liwalo itabidi tuende whether kumenyesha or not tutoke nje now, when we went to step outside, we found like it is completely dry. Hakuna mvua, nothing. So, tulikuwa wanne. And I asked our tulikuwa nao, ulisikia mvua? Akasema ee. Eh. And then I asked this other one, ulisikia mvua? Akasema ee. Eh. Then nikona, ah, these people, labda ju, they are adults like me, labda wakona kichaa. Sasacha ni ulize mtoto. Mtoto nikamuliza, ulisikia mvua? Kasema ye, alisikia. He? Nikashanga, now what is this? And kuna possibility kuna watu wa kusikia mvua. That was spiritual. Kwenyesha alikuwa na jibu maumbi yetu because it was a minister's night. Now, that is one of the encounters. Tukatembea, tukatembea, tukatembea. Kufika huko mbele, outside the vicinity of the church now. Ndiyo temperature ikarudi normal. Then I remembered the training ambayo tulikuwa tunapitishwa na a certain prophet. Akasema, signs of now, the presence of the Holy Spirit, a lot of cold and trembling. Now, iyo ni mungu alikuwa na jionyesha. Aside from that, he has given me and others, lots of you, lots of us, different encounters. Ata ndio mtu wakuje okoke, avaa hivi. Mimi ndio ni wache kuvaa nguo fupi. Ili ni wache kuvaa kuji expose. Ili ni wache kuweka, I used even to weka manuele za white, purple. My producer taweka hapo. Ili ni weze kutransform. You have to prove that you are real. You have to prove your existence. Understand? That is why I am reading the Bible. That is why I am referring to the Bible. Okay? And I pray that the Lord will give you encounters so that Wewu kitembea katike uokovu, sikuwe tu blind, no. Ikuwe you are sure of what you are doing. Now, back to the root causes. Unguarded city, well fed. Now, spiritual. 
spiritual attacks sasa hii nitakuwa nitaingia in depth when i get to biblical mathematics sawa sawa now spiritual attacks ukiokoka si tu bwana yesu asifiwe amen amen hallelujah no when the, the lord said this i did not bring peace I brought a sword. So the moment umeokoka, you have announced war. Umeingia kwa battlefield. Sawa sawa. So hata mimi whatever I'm going to teach you itakuwa kubembeleza. Where you take it up or not, that is your own problem. My aim is to teach soldiers of Christ Jesus. And by God's grace amenifunza na kanirevelea hizi vitu. So it is your duty now to take up these things. Now, spiritual attacks. Ephesians Ephesians chapter 6 verses 12 for we are not fighting against human beings but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world the rulers the authorities and cosmic powers of this dark age ole wako wewe unamkanga unafikiria tu chakula Ujue tunakuanga kwa vita kila siku kila wakati vita 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 that is why you will find me even when i sleep I wear these clothes sitoi because I want to be a soldier. Mtu akini attack kwa ndoto mimi na muattack pia. Sawa sawa. You have to stay awake. Spiritual attacks. I will get into this. Kuna masaa ambayo kuna lots of power. And God's people and also those in the dark world wameza kujua and they tap into it. By the way, kuna wakati nilikuwa nimejaribu kutafuta wachawi. Do you know these wachawis they use Bibles? na hiyo ni revelation nyingine they know they know their power in the bible they know their power as human beings sawa sawa hii ni target into it mambo na spiritual attacks and what time exactly sawa sawa now how and why how Everything starts spiritually first so as to manifest. Sawa sawa. Unaweza kuta now for example nona Yesu ili sasa his birth ikue announced. Imagine what happened. Joseph alikuwa late daje through a dream. Imagine uyu Yesu. Uyu Yesu uyu Yesu uyu ali anunciwa through dreams. The warnings came came through dreams. Can you imagine now the power that is in dreams everything spiritual attacks how through dreams sawa sawa now why why alertness tunaambiwa keep watch saa zingine lazima uwatakiwe ndio uweze kukumbushwa au stay awake sawa sawa correction and many other reasons but those are su- just some of the of the reasons sawa sawa now how do you ensure okay let me just state this nimewaambia nimekuwa nikifanya hospital ministry and aside from that my mom passed because of cancer breast cancer in 2019 and sometimes i regret i was not able to do anything about it but now kumbe Mungu alitaka nipitie hiyo mambo and i am really sorry god mahali ambapo sija apologize i am really sorry but now that juzi tulienda hospitalini then kumbe Mungu alituma askari askia askari akania akatuita akasema okay when you go to ministry you are sent two by two kuna mahali hapo when jesus sent those disciples two by two alafu anasema go and cast out demons go and heal the sick go and do this and this yani your ministry sawa sawa so specifically nilikuwa nimeenda na this partner that the lord had spiritually like connected us so kufika huko huyo askari after kutuita kumbe huyu mwenye alinielekeza kwake she has the same like cancer that my mom had I always imagine how that touched my heart breast cancer and kidney cancer but now by god's grace before ata tukutane na this ladies huyo huyo askari alituelekeza to three of them 
God had been doing wonders. We have been witnesses as to what he has been doing. Sisi tumekuwa tukienda kwa hao wagonjwa but then the Lord amekuwa kiwaponya. Sawa sawa, tumekuwa hapo tukifanya our part. Tunaambiwa take position. Sawa, and let me do the rest. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 17. And let me do the rest. So tumekuwa hapo sisi si tunaponyana ni Yesu mwenyewe and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. So walikuwa na waponya. Sawa sawa. But now how do you make sure itaongelesha ministers but now wacha niongeleshe wale wenye bado hawajaingia katika ministry How do you make sure that ukishapona haurudi hapo tena How do you make sure you are safe safety measures Now your relationship with God you have to accept him first. Sawa, you have to accept him first. The other thing, ili weze kujua huyu mungu, there is a manual as to how to know his characters, as to how to know how the kingdom operates. Akunanga vitu zinafanyo hivi, there is a manual. Sawa, sawa. Now, the manual is the Bible. Not just prayer, but prayer pia iko, iko hapo. You need to pray, but prayer alone is very dangerous. Kwa sababu unaomba, lakini unajua, unajua manual ya kuomba kweli. Iyo manual iko kwa Bible. Na pia iyo, kwa iyo Bible, you need revelation. Aiko tu open, evil, blunt, mm -mm -mm. revelation. Sawa, sawa. Another thing, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Hii ni important sana. Kuna watu wao anajiuliza kwa nini naenda kutoa kanisani. Wewe tafuta kanisa ambayo iko na an altar that is alive, that you are sure that God is present. Nenda umtolee sadaka, umwambie Mungu wangu, I am sorry. First of all, you have to repent. Repentance. You have to submit to the authority that governs the kingdom, who is God. Repent. Then uto a sacrifice, admit your mistakes. Ineza kuwa umekosea na hujui, ineza kuwa your parents umekosea na hujui. Accept, repent, sacrifice. Wambia mungu, yes, this happened, it has been happening in our family. There has been cancer, there has been arthritis, there has been this and this. Now, this sacrifice, I pray that it speaks for me. This speaks for you, even after you are gone. Sawa, sawa. Even after you are gone. Unakuta sasa, hiyo, hiyo disease hayezi kukujia. But now you have to solidify hii mambo na sacrifice. Push it with prayer. Push it with reading the Bible. Pray and fast. Wea mbae unakula kila saa. Hii ni yako. Pray and fast. Hata kama ni siku mbili kwa wiki. Why two days? Hiyo nitaingilia kwa biblical mathematics. Sawa sawa. Pray and fast. Please, tumtafte uyu mungu. Tumtafte uyu mungu tafadhali. Do not just live an ordinary life. Whatever you see, whomever, ata mimi venye niko hivi, there is a spirit backing me up. Siko ukiliza angu, sawa sawa. Everything is spiritual. So, our watu wenye unona wana make it uko inje, wenye wana wako kwa hiyo, like dunia nye si ya Yesu, there is something backing them up. Tafadhali, you have, you have to have someone, something backing you up that is sure, sawa sawa. Me, I am sure that this God is supreme. Nimewambia nilitafuta waganga na nikona hakuna kitu. Walikuwa na walikuwa ananiambia ati sasa first of all we have to sleep together. Alafu ndio wananitolea Biblia wananisomea. But at the end of the day I was still empty. Empty. But in God you have peace. Hata ukiwa katika storm you have peace. Please aki listen to me. Kwa mungu kuna kila. There is no life outside of Jesus. So God bless you. God keep you. Mungu akutende mema. Thank you for your time. And see you next time. Bye. Shalom.